Super Rugby jerseys for the New Zealand teams for the 2024 season have been released, folks. We're going to go through first impressions of those jerseys here. You guys can let me know your thoughts on how they are looking. Interestingly, all five New Zealand teams are no longer having uh, Adidas as their manufacturer. Adidas seems to be kind of moving away uh, from rugby. It just seems uh, at a kind of higher level what to be is uh, going on. So it is classic sportswear that is uh, making the jerseys for the Super Rugby teams here in the dead. So not exactly like the biggest. It's not like a Nike or an Under Armour or, you know, not an added ass in terms of brand, but personally, I welcome the change because I've never been a massive fan of of these jerseys. What it does mean, though, is they all come out pretty much at the same time, and uh, they will probably share some similar features, although they've all got their own kind of unique points. So we'll start with the Blues. The Blues home jersey is there. Uh, it's blue, which kind of makes sense. They seem to be emphasizing the uh, the waters, like the harbors around uh, Auckland and Northland, which seems to be a theme for them. I'm happy to see NIB is a little bit less kind of prominent. They used to have, with any blues jerseys, this big bloody green blob, which I despised, and most blues fans did. It at least seems to be a little bit more, you know, it blends in a bit more compared to the big rectangle of, of green, which it used to be. So that's that's a bit of a happy change. Uh, the collar looks pretty slick. It seems to be slightly stripy. Uh, I have seen there are some kind of details around the collar uh, and whatnot about like established in 1996. And they've got the colors of the unions, which make up the blues. I'm not that fussed about that anymore, to be honest, because like back in the day, you know, you used to pick players from the unions which make up your team, like the Blues, currently it's it's North Harbour, it's Northland and Auckland. But, I mean, teams, well, players play for anybody these days. It doesn't really matter which NPC team they represent. So I'm a little bit kind of less fussed about that personally. Uh, the alternate jersey is white with the blue strip down the middle. Uh, it's also got a little bit of a sky tower at the bottom, which is not uh, apparent in the promo shop. But, um, yeah, the collar looks all right. The jersey's not too busy. Uh, there seems to be a distinct difference between the home and the away jersey, so that's pleasing. So the Blues, I think, did a decent job. Well, Classic did a decent job with the Blues jerseys. Uh, their most uh, talked about one, though, is their throwback jersey for the kind of uh, original Blues jersey, which Carlos has been modeling and uh, Rico has been modeling, which is pretty slick. I feel like that one's going to sell pretty well, because that even I look at that and think, man, that's... That brings back the feels. So, yeah, there we go. Throwback jersey. I'm not sure how many times they'll wear that one, but she's pretty slick. Uh, for the Hurricanes, Hurricanes jersey is, um, it's not too bad, I reckon. It's, it's a hard one because how do you represent a Hurricane on a jersey without just kind of looking like a swirly whirly? That's a, it's tough. It's a tough one to, to represent. They've still got a bit of swirly whirly going on in the jersey. So you can see some some kind of hurricane patterns, but I think it looks it looks better than some of the previous swirls that we've seen from Hurricanes jerseys. Every Hurricanes jersey in recent times seems to have a bit of a swirl. Uh, but yeah, man, it's that distinct Hurricanes yellow. It seems to have the same collar uh, as the Blues jersey, which works. It seems to have a little bit less sponsorship on it than the Blues jersey, which makes it like a little bit more uh, clean, which is also pretty pleasing. And, uh, yeah, the, the home one I think looks pretty nice. The alternate one I don't think looks great. The black. Uh, yeah, the, the, the black one just doesn't look, it doesn't do it for me. In the promo shots at least. Sometimes teams will run out in these, in these jerseys on the field and it'll actually look a lot better. But, uh, yeah, the alternate jersey for mine is not all that flash. Uh, yeah, it's got little mini hurricanes on it, which just look like dots. Uh, yeah. Um, interestingly, they've got a different sponsor for the away jersey as the home jersey, which some of the teams tend to do. The problem with that is it means they'll likely be contractually obligated to wear the alternate jersey uh, X number of times per season. So you may end up seeing that black jersey maybe go up against the blues with their blue which may or may not cause jersey clashes. 
you know, usually I like to see them wearing their their home jersey the majority of the time. And if there's a kit clash, then you go with the alternate. But is there anyone the Hurricanes could even have a kit clash with? How are they going to sell those away jerseys, I suppose? So they'll certainly be wearing that, I would imagine, around about half of the season. Uh, they also have a training jersey, I think, which just looks like the Moana Pacifica jersey at a glance. So, yeah. If you've got the Moana Pacifica jersey, you've pretty much got that one. Uh, the Chiefs, I think the Chiefs are the winners. I think both their kits are absolute bangers. They're maybe less uh, adventurous, less kind of changed. They seem kind of pretty par for the course from what we've seen from recent Chiefs jerseys. But it's the black. I mean, the sleeves look good. The collar actually looks all right. It's a different collar from the Blues and from the, uh, from the Hurricanes jerseys. The sponsor blends in well from what we can see there. It's not super busy. It's got the Maori patterns, which is, you know, connects with the Waikato, which is, you know, tended to be the Chiefs thing. Oh, I don't know what you can say, man. The Chiefs jerseys just look good. Real good. I mean, when you look at the, the shot from kind of below, uh, the kind of under the red arms don't look that great on the model jersey. But when you see it on like a player wearing it, it looks fine. So, yeah. The weird one is like the third jersey. I'm assuming it's a training jersey. It just kind of looks like it's got a turkey sticking out in the front. I, go, I know that's, again, probably some kind of cultural thing. But it's, when I first look at it, it just looks like a turkey. So there you go. I think the Chiefs are on to two proper winners with their black one and their white one. So happy days. Well done for the Chiefs. Chiefs have tended to have some good jerseys. The Crusaders one, I feel like you've got a good one and a not great one. Like the, the Crusaders mainly black one. They've got the, uh, it's, it's mountains, like the peaks and then the rivers, mountains and rivers. That's the story behind this jersey, apparently. The black one, I think, looks pretty slick. Black shoulders, the bit of red. It's maybe not as red as you would expect the Crusaders jersey to be. But then the red one, uh, doesn't do it for me. Again, it's, it's only first impressions. Maybe once I see it on the field, it'll, it'll grow on me, but... If you were asking me, do you want the black one or do you want the red one? There's no way in hell I'm choosing that red one. So even though it's a bit more crusadery in terms of the color scheme, yeah, I don't think the red one looks as good as the black one. So that's just me. I'm an All Blacks fan, so I'm just a fan of black jerseys. I like the Chiefs one and I like the, old, uh, the, the Crusaders black one. So maybe I just like black jerseys. And then the Highlanders. The Highlanders one looks pretty, it looks pretty sharp. It's dark blue. I just think the collar looks weird. I don't know. Is it like a really low collar? Is it the same as the uh, the Chiefs collar? It just looks like a lower collar. I don't know. Sponsor looks fine. The The pattern is, is pretty, again, it's not that adventurous. It's pretty slick looking. It's clean. It's not covered in sponsors. Um, yeah, it's a dark blue. It's, it's, it's a Highlanders jersey. It just In some of the shots, the collar just looks really low. Uh, the alternate jersey is the maroon, which I think I prefer to the green that they went with a few years ago. The maroon looks uh, looks pretty slick. It shouldn't cause any clashes with anybody. You know, if you're playing the reds, you're going to wear the blue jersey. If you're playing the blues, you're going to wear the red jersey. So, yeah, pretty much simple as that. So, apart from the collar, I think the Highlanders jersey looks pretty nice. So, yeah, those are the five New Zealand teams. Like I said, new manufacturer, so it'll be interesting to see how these jerseys feel in terms of their like you know their quality but i was never that sold on the um on the adidas one so i imagine um they'll feel pretty nice because a lot of the jerseys from the brands which aren't that kind of big name uh personally i think they they work better than the adidas ones but there you go you guys, let us know your thoughts. What are your first impressions of the all, all Blacks jerseys? The uh, the Super Rugby team's jerseys. I haven't seen pricing yet, but I would imagine they're probably going to go for 150 bucks NZ. That tends to be the standard price for rugby jerseys here. But yeah, you guys, let us know your thoughts. And um, talk to you guys again soon. See you later.